Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be showing you about uh, a very basic directive of Angular which is called as ng content. So ng content guys basically allows you to insert dynamic data inside your Angular applications and this is this phenomena is uh, basically called as uh, content projection and content, pro content projection is very much important if you want to increase the re reusability of your components, Angular components and uh, we can insert dynamic data and I will be showing you a complete example of ng content uh, directive here and uh, this basically asks in many angular interview questions as well if you're going for angular interview you should definitely know about uh, ng content directive so for explaining it guys I have written a complete blog post in the description of the video if you want the full text version of this video you can go to the description of the video to get all the source code so now let's get started so the very first thing I will do guys this is my sample angular project here and let me start from scratch and you will now see basically this is a very basic angular project that we created angular 14 project and this is my parent component you will see that let me write something here this is parent component so now if I refresh it you will see compiled successfully this is my parent component so now I will be showing you guys how to create a child component and pass some dynamic HTML data using ng content directive so the very first thing you need to do guys basically inside your command line you just need to say uh, a command here which is uh, ng g for generate and then components and after that we will be creating a child component and we, inside the components folder so we will be giving a path here component slash child so now this will take some time you will see it will create basically a components folder in the left hand side and now we have this child component and we have this uh, html sample html which is child works and if you check the selector here which is app dot child if you want if i need to use this component i need to make use of this selector now if i go to the parent component i will simply write here uh, after this we will simply include this child component app dot child that's all this is basically the directive of this child component if i now see in my browser what it looks like so i need to simply run the project by ng surf so now this application is again compiling it so just wait for the compilation process to finish so now guys if you see basically this is my child component which is successfully rendered on the browser so now what I need to do guys I need to pass some data dynamic data HTML data to this uh, child component how we can achieve this so basically we can use this uh, ng dash content directive to pass some dynamic data so wherever we are rendering this component guys inside this app dot child tags here we will write some uh, dynamic html so if i now write here a heading here this is dynamic heading and we can even have a paragraph as well this is dynamic paragraph we can even have a image element but let me just show you so we have these two elements now if i refresh it nothing happens you did not you haven't seen this heading you haven't seen this paragraph that we uh, passed here so now how to render out this so in order to render out this guys we need to make use of that directive that I talked about which is ng content so right inside your child component html file guys child.component.html you just need to basically make use of this directive called as ng-content so if you just write this directive all of your html that we passed here inside your parent html is successfully rendered it on the screen here you will see this is dynamic heading this is dynamic paragraph so this is basically the concept of uh, content projection guys we are making dynamic we are passing dynamic data dynamic html data here and uh, we are making reusability of our angular component and now let's suppose you only want a specific data to be displayed you don't you don't need to display all the data which is passed here so what you can do is that here 
we can make use of a selector property here. So whenever we are passing this data here inside our parent HTML, we can give it basically a class here, which is heading class here. You will see that if I give this heading class and now we can give a let's suppose I only want to display this heading here. So now inside child.component.html, we have basically a selector property here. So selector attribute. So here we can simply target that heading dot for classes and you will see dot heading. So now what happens guys, if you now refresh your browser, only the heading will display. If you now see, you just need to compile this project here once again, ng so. So ng content and there lies this selector attribute and here you need to give the class name that you have given to the parent. You will see class is equal to heading. So it is compiled successfully. So this is dynamic heading. This is dynamic paragraph. I think it is showing. I don't. Let me just eliminate this dot symbol. Uh, selector property. Let me just cross check guys. I think this uh, how ng content selector class selector. So there are various. Uh, let me see uh, basically. App child. Okay, I think this is not selected. This is only select dot and you need to provide it for the now you can see that now you can see that guys it is only displaying the heading here and we are targeted it using the class that we have given here. You will see we have given this class here class is equal to heading. If I change it to ID here, let's suppose ID for IDs, we just need to change it for hash symbol. So you just need to change it like this. So now you will see the result will still say stays the same. Let's suppose you have given a paragraph here, a different ID. Let's suppose a class here. This is sample. So now you will see basically if you now need to target this, you can display it. You can have select here. You will simply have this. Uh, sample here if you now eliminate this one and now you will see it will only display the paragraph you will see that this is dynamic paragraph so in this way guys you can individually display elements that the parent component passes to the child component using ng content directive and basically this is called as content projection inside angular this is very important concept inside angular interview questions many of the times they ask interview questions this is very simple example that i wanted to show you inside this video hopefully you have understood this example you can go to the description of this video to read more about it thank you very much for watching this video